Howdy, folks. Welcome to another thrilling journey through the pages of television history. Today, we're hopping on the Iron Horse, the transcontinental railroad that carved its way through the rugged landscapes of the 19th century frontier. But this isn't just a ride into the past. It's a then and now exploration of the trailblazers who brought Iron Horse to life. Iron Horse is a Western television series that aired from 1966 to 1968. The show was created by Collier Young and was produced by Universal Television. Iron Horse followed the adventures of a gambler named Ben Calhoun, played by Dale Robertson, who wins a partial ownership of a railroad, the Enterprise, in a poker game. Meet the formidable cast who steamed into our living rooms, shaping the narrative of Iron Horse. From Dale Robertson's Ben Calhoun to the ensemble cast that added layers of drama and grit to the construction of the Enterprise Railroad. But where are these trailblazers now? What tales do their then and now stories tell? Dale Robertson as Ben Calhoun. Born on July 14, 1923, in Hera, Oklahoma, Dale Robertson was destined for a life as captivating as the characters he portrayed. As of my last knowledge update in January 2023, Dale Robertson passed away on February 27, 2013, at the age of 89. The role that defined his career was that of Ben Calhoun in Iron Horse, a gambler who career. Dale Robertson's journey to stardom was paved with grit and determination. A veteran of World War II, he transitioned from the military to Hollywood, debuting in the film The Boy with Green Hair. His rugged charm and versatility soon made him a sought-after leading man in westerns and adventure films most successful roles. While Dale Robertson left an indelible mark on the Western genre with Iron Horse, his success extended beyond. Notable roles included portraying Jim Hardy in the television series, Tales of Wells Fargo, and starring in films like Sitting Bull and Flaming Feather. Most prestigious awards. Dale Robertson received accolades for his contributions to the entertainment industry. While major awards may have eluded him, his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame stands testament to his enduring impact. Reason for death. Dale Robertson left this world on February 27, 2013, due to lung cancer. His legacy lives on as a symbol of the golden age of Hollywood and the rugged, dependable heroes he brought to life on screen. Gary Collins as Dave Tarrant. Born on April 30, 1938, in Venice, California, Gary Collins emerged as a charismatic actor destined for the spotlight. As of my last knowledge update in January 2023, Gary Collins passed away on October 13, 2012, at the age of 74. His most defining role was that of Dave Tarrant in Iron Horse, a character pivotal to the construction and operation of the railroad. Career. Gary Collins' journey in the entertainment industry was marked by his versatility. Beyond acting, he made a name for himself as a television host, author, and pilot. His career included appearances in popular shows like The Sixth Sense and The Wackiest Ship in the Army. Most successful roles. While Iron Horse secured Gary Collins' place in television history, his career spanned various genres. He hosted the talk show Our Magazine and appeared in films such as Airport and Hangar 18. Most prestigious awards. Gary Collins earned accolades for his work as a television host, winning a Daytime Emmy Award for The Home Show. His achievements showcased his adaptability in the industry. Reason for death. Gary Collins passed away on October 13, 2012, due to natural causes. His legacy endures through his multifaceted contributions to the world of entertainment. Robert Random as Barnabas Rogers. Born on February 3, 1943, in Cheltenham, Pennsylvania, Robert Random entered the world of acting with a determination to leave his mark. As of my last knowledge update in January 2023, Robert Random's current status is not available. In Iron Horse, he portrayed Barnabas Rogers, a recurring character entangled in the challenges faced by the railroad. Career. Robert Random's journey in the entertainment industry showcased his ability to immerse himself in diverse roles. Beyond Iron Horse, he appeared in various television shows, including Perry Mason and Gunsmoke. Most successful roles. While Iron Horse was a notable chapter in Robert Random's career, he contributed to the tapestry of television with appearances in popular series. His versatility allowed him to take on roles that added depth to the narratives. Most prestigious awards. Information about major awards specific to Robert Random is not readily available. 
However, his body of work reflects a commitment to the craft and a dedication to bringing characters to life. Robert Bray as Joe Mundy. Born on October 23, 1917, in Kalispell, Montana, Robert Bray emerged from the vast landscapes of the West to become a stalwart presence in the world of entertainment. As of my last knowledge update in January 2023, Robert Bray's legacy endures, and details about his date of death are not readily available. His most significant role was that of Joe Mundy in Iron Horse, a character who, amidst the challenges of the frontier, stood as a pillar of resilience and determination. Career. Robert Bray's journey to Hollywood was as adventurous as the roles he portrayed. From a ranch in Montana to the bustling studios of California, Bray's rugged charm made him a natural fit for westerns. Before Iron Horse, he appeared in films like The Giant Claw and Gunsight Ridge. Most successful roles. While Iron Horse showcased Robert Bray's prowess in the western genre, he also found success in television series like Lassie and Stagecoach West. His ability to embody the spirit of the Old West endeared him to audiences. Most prestigious awards. Although major individual awards might not adorn his mantle, Robert Bray's contributions to the Western genre were significant. His performances resonated with fans, making him a beloved figure in the world of classic television. Michael Whitney as Mitch Baker. Born on November 21, 1931, in Ticonderoga, New York, Michael Whitney embarked on a journey that would take him from the East Coast to the heart of the Western frontier. Tragically, as of my last knowledge update in January 2023, Michael Whitney's journey was cut short when he passed away on November 30, 1983, at the age of 52. His role as Mitch Baker in Iron Horse was a testament to his versatility and talent. Career. Michael Whitney's career was marked by a magnetic screen presence and a commitment to his craft. Before Iron Horse, he appeared in films like The Great White Hope and The Mechanic, showcasing his ability to seamlessly transition between genres. Most successful roles. While Iron Horse stands as a highlight of Michael Whitney's television career, he also made notable contributions to the big screen with roles in films like Dirty Little Billy and The Mephisto Waltz. Most prestigious awards. Michael Whitney's career didn't accumulate major individual awards but his performances were recognized for their depth and authenticity. His dedication to the craft earned him respect within the industry. Reason for death. Michael Whitney's life was tragically cut short on November 30, 1983, due to a heart attack. The entertainment world lost a talent that had much more to offer, but his work remains a lasting testament to his passion for storytelling. Harry Harvey Jr. as Mike Kelly. Born on March 10, 1922, in Indianola, Iowa, Harry Harvey Jr. embarked on a journey that would see him become a familiar face on both the big and small screens. As of my last knowledge update in January 2023, details about Harry Harvey Jr.'s date of death are not readily available. His portrayal of Mike Kelly in Iron Horse added depth to the series, particularly in the context of the railroad's development. Career. Harry Harvey Jr.'s career spanned decades, showcasing his versatility in various genres. Before Iron Horse, he appeared in films like The Lawless Breed and Seven Ways from Sundown. His knack for adapting to different roles made him a sought-after character actor. Most successful roles. While Iron Horse contributed significantly to Harry Harvey Jr.'s television career, he also made appearances in other popular series like Gunsmoke and The Twilight Zone. His ability to portray diverse characters added richness to the narrative. Most prestigious awards. Harry Harvey Jr. may not have received major individual awards, but his body of work spoke volumes about his contributions to the industry. His performances resonated with audiences and fellow professionals alike. And there you have it, the untold stories of these remarkable actors who rode the iron horse into our living rooms, leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of television history. But the story doesn't end here. We want to hear from you, the true enthusiasts of classic television. Which of these actors made the greatest impact on your Western adventures? Was it Robert Bray's resilience as Joe Mundy, Michael Whitney's charisma as Mitch Baker, or Harry Harvey Jr.'s contribution to the development of the railroad as Mike Kelly? Share your thoughts, memories, and your favorite moments in the comments section below. Let's keep the spirit of the Old West alive and celebrate the talents that graced our screens.